In today's class, we will quickly learn the difference between for while and do while loop. We know that by using looping concept in C program or any programming language, we can execute some statements repeatedly based on some condition. And when we write C programs by using loops, the programs become concise and easy to understand. And that too without using the go to statements. In C, we have three types of loops as you know for, while or do or do while loop. And we also know that every loop in C program has two main parts, body of the loop and control statement. And control statement what it does, it checks some conditions and based on that it takes some decisions whether the execution of the statements under that loop will be repeated or the loop will be terminated. So based on this body of the loop and control statement, the loop can be broadly classified into two parts, entry control loop and exit control loop. In case of entry control loop at the beginning of the loop means before we execute the body of the loop where we have those statements, we check the condition and based on that condition, we take some decision. The decision will be either the program control will go inside that loop and it will execute all the statements the statements that we have under that loop or the decision could be that the program control will not go inside that loop rather it will skip the loop and it will go to the statement that we have next to that loop in that program so here in this flowchart as you can see we are when the program control is coming here we are checking some test condition when the result of that test condition is true then the program is executing the body of the loop else if it is false then it is coming out of that loop and then whatever statement we have after that loop then that will be executed. In case of exit control loop what happens is at the beginning the body of the loop is executed once and once that is executed then we check for test condition. So if the test condition is false then the loop will be repeated and whatever we have the whatever statements we have under that loop they will be executed or the execution of those statements will be repeated otherwise if the result of that test condition is true then the program control will come out of that loop or we can say the loop will be terminated and whatever statement we will have after that loop that will be or uh, those statements will be executed so here the test condition is checked after the body of the loop is executed and in case of entry control loop the test condition is checked before the body of the loop is executed now we will see the syntax of three kinds of loops that we have in c whether it is entry control loop or exit control loop whether it is for while or do while loop it does a few common things and accordingly keeping them in mind we have to take care of their syntax first thing we need to take care of is setting and initializing a counter so there we will have in our program we will have a variable and we need to initialize that variable after setting and initializing a counter we know there will be execution of the statements in the loop that will be executed repeatedly and as i said that another important part of any loop in any programming language is control statement and what it does it checks for some condition and based on that it takes decision so the condition should be set properly so that the loop is executed as per our requirement if the condition is not set properly then it may happen in any program that the loop will be executed infinitely and the control of the program will never come out of that loop the loop will never be terminated and that type of phenomena is called infinite loop so we have to set the condition of execution or termination of that loop very wisely and very carefully and since we have set we have initialized a counter so after every round of execution of those statements that we have under that loop the counter value needs to be changed and based on that we set the condition of repetition of the loop or termination of that loop so it's not mandatory that the counter will be always incremented no if the counter initial value of the counter is minimum then after every round of execution of those statements the counter value will be incremented but if the initial value of the counter is maximum then after every round that counter value will be decremented 
now this is the syntax for for loop what we do this for is a keyword then within parentheses we have a variable a counter which is n here and this is the initial value of that counter which is one and this is the condition condition of execution or repetition of execution of those statements or we can say termination of that loop and this is the increment of that counter value so when the program control will come here the counter value will be set as one in the beginning and then it will check for this condition whether n is less than equal to 10 or not since one is less than 10 so the program control will go inside that loop and whatever statements we have they will be executed and after execution of all these statements what will happen the program control will not go to the statement that we have after this for loop it will increment the counter value and then it will check for the condition whether n is still less than 10 or not so after incrementing the value of n will become 2 and 2 is still less than 10 so the program control go inside that for loop again it those statements will be executed and again the counter value will be incremented by 1 n plus plus means n is equal to n plus 1 that we know so now n will become 3 and still that is less than 10 so this way it will be executed till what moment the n is less than equal to 10 so the moment when n will become 10 till that point also the program control will go inside that loop those statements will be executed and the counter value will be incremented again by 1 this time the n will become 11 now when the program control will check for this condition it will find that now n is 11 which is greater than 10 so which is greater than 10 means the program control will not go inside that for loop rather that loop will be terminated and the program control will come to the statements that we have after that for loop that's how it happens in case of for loop in c program two points you have to notice here that the this initialization this condition of execution or repetition or termination and this increment they are separated from each other by semicolon it's not colon or comma it's semicolon and after this for statement we don't have any semicolon though we maintain semicolon after every executable statement but here after for statement or after do or while we don't put any semicolon but when we will write executable statement inside that loop there every statement will be terminated or will be ended by semicolon here we have also noticed that that block of statements that we have written under that for loop they maintain a good indentation with that for statement and also they are enclosed within this opening and closing press now this is the syntax for while loop so in case of while loop at the beginning we are initializing the counter and this time again we are using the initial value as one and that statement is terminated by semicolon then we are using the while that keyword that statement and then within parentheses we are here putting the condition of repetition or termination of that loop and since we are using the same condition so here it is again n less than equal to 10 and then within this opening brace and closing brace we are writing all the executable statements every statement will be terminated by semicolon and in the body itself we are incrementing the counter so that is the difference so in case of for loop within this opening and closing parentheses after this semicolon we were incrementing or decrementing the counter here in case of while loop in the body we are doing that so when the program control will come here the value of this counter initially will be set as one then it will go to that while statement and it will check for the condition if the n value is less than equal to 10 or not since 1 is less than 10 so it the program control will go inside that loop it will execute all the statements that we have written inside that while loop and then at the end it will increment the counter or maybe it will decrement the counter if the initial value of that counter was set as maximum value then again it will go to the while statement and it will check for condition so until the value of n becomes 11 the body of this while loop will be executed right so till the point when n was 10 the in the program control came inside that while loop all the exec all these statements were executed and the value of this counter that was incremented by one so this time the value of n is 11 now when the control will go to 
this while statement again it will find that the value of 11 n is 11 and that is greater than 10 so the program control now this time will not go inside that while loop rather the loop will be terminated and the control will come to the statement that we have next to that loop and this is the syntax for do while loop now in case of do while we have two keywords do and while so again we are setting the counter value initial value whether it is maximum or minimum now we have this do statement and then within this opening and closing braces we have the body of that loop here we have all those executable statements and then again in the body itself we are mentioning or we are incrementing or decrementing the counter value then after that loop we are checking the condition so with while loop this is the difference in case of while loop before the body the, we were checking the condition here we had the while statement and here after the body we have the while statement so when n initially the value of n was 1 and after execution of the body now n is 2 so when it will check for condition it will find that 2 is less than 10 so the body of the loop will be repeated until which point unless the n becomes 11 so when n will become 11 11 is more than 10 that's why the loop will be terminated and the program control will come to the statement that we have after that while statement or after that loop now what is the difference of this do while loop with while and for loop in case of for loop at the entry point we were checking the condition and then based on that we were taking decision that whether the loop will be executed or terminated and then we were executing the body so this is entry control loop in case of while also at the beginning we had that condition so based on that condition we were taking decision whether the body will be executed or the loop will be terminated so this is again entry control loop but here in case of do while at the entry point we don't have any condition so at least once this body of the loop will be executed and when once that body of the loop has been executed then we are checking the condition and based on that we are taking some decision so here after the body of the loop we have this control statement we are checking the condition so this is at the exit point we have that condition so this loop is this do while loop in c program is exit control loop so this is the main difference of for while and do while loop in c programs and the syntax is also in front of you and i hope you have understood the basic concept and the basic difference of these three loops in c programs well with that hope i end today's class thank you